Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 12 as well as Isaiah chapter 2 verse 14. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Father God for this word Jesus. Help us to heed the warnings and the timings. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 12. The time has come. The day has arrived. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon their multitude. All right, and so this is, I'm going to read the completion scripture, the second scripture, um, Isaiah chapter 2, verse 14. Against all the lofty mountains, against all the uplifted hills. All right, and so both of these scriptures are talking about the wrath of God coming down, right? All the things that had gone, what seemingly gone unanswered for God all at one time was coming in and purifying the land, right, um, through his wrath. And so um, Ezekiel 7 calls it the day of the Lord. And um, Isaiah calls it like the day of wrath of the Lord or something like that. And so um, here it is just letting us know that the season that we live in, Holy Spirit is letting us know this is it, right? This is the time. This is it. This is the time has come. The day has arrived. Thank you, Lord, for this verse, Lord. So the, the day has arrived for, for, um, moving forward in in this new era of of time and you know it doesn't mention a bride receiving any wrath right it doesn't mention anything saying that the faithful ones were here right it says the time has come the day has arrived let no buyer rejoice nor the seller mourn for wrath is upon all their multitude so the buyer it doesn't need to rejoice over um this this situation that's going on um it, it says nor the seller mourn for wrath upon for wrath is upon their multitude there is no more way of doing old business right it's all gone and it's gonna all be wiped out it says the time has come, the day has arrived, um, and we don't need to be in fear, right, when this, the day comes, because God is with us, all right, and so let me turn back to the, of the second scripture, Isaiah chapter 2, verse 14, against all the lofty mountains and against all the uplifted hills, Um we know that they they sacrificed and did so many things in the the um those mountains and things but god is going to come and level that playing field right he's going to say hey this is due right this this sin is it needs to be paid for and on that day it's it's going to be hard because those people, you know, for so long have been doing things the way they've been doing things. And now God is truly showing himself strong and pouring out this wrath on all the people. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your word. Lord Jesus, bring your children together. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you would like to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I can be saved. Thank you, Jesus, for doing this. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, um, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you as children his peace. Take care.